India just approved a massive deal for Israel's super expensive Spice 1000 glide bombs. But wait, our own DRDO Gaurav is already tested and ready for induction. So why spend billions on foreign tech when Make in India is booming? In early January 2026, India's Defense Acquisition Council approved a massive $8.7 billion defense procurement package, including approximately 1,000 Spice 1000 precision-guided bomb kits from Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. This decision has sparked debate, especially given the Defense Research and Development Organizations, or DRDOs, Gaurav Glide Bomb which is nearing induction into the Indian Air Force. To understand this, let's first examine the SPICE 1000, part of Raphael's smart, precise impact and cost-effective, or SPICE, family. The SPICE 1000 is a guidance kit that transforms standard 1,000 pound, or about 450 kilogram dumb bombs into standoff precision weapons. Launched from aircraft like the Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI or Rafale, it glides over 100 kilometers, up to 125 kilometers under optimal conditions. Using a combination of GPS and INS navigation and an advanced electro-optical and infrared seeker. This seeker employs AI algorithms for automatic target recognition enabling it to identify and strike stationary or moving targets in day, night, or even adverse weather. In contrast, DRDO's Gorov is India's indigenous long-range glide bomb, a 1,000-kilogram class weapon designed as a cost-effective alternative to systems like the SPICE 2000. Development began in the mid-2010s, with key milestones including a successful test in December 2014 and a maiden flight from a Su-30 MKI in August 2024. By April 2025, release trials off Odisha's coast demonstrated a range close to 100 kilometers with, you know, pinpoint accuracy, using hybrid inertial navigation and GPS guidance. User evaluation trials were completed or in final stages by late 2025, paving the way for induction. A direct comparison highlights why SPICE 1000 remains appealing despite Gorav's progress. Both offer similar ranges, around 100 kilometers, and convert dumb bombs into smart ones. But SPICE 1000's electro-optical and infrared seeker provide superior all-weather day-night targeting without sole reliance on GPS, which, you know, can be jammed in contested environments like those along India's borders with China or Pakistan. Gorav, lacking this seeker, is better suited for pre-planned strikes against fixed targets, but falls short in dynamic scenarios involving moving assets, or electronic countermeasures. SPICE's AI-driven autonomy allows retargeting mid-flight, a feature that's just absent in current Gorav iterations. While Gorav's cost is lower, potentially a fraction of SPICE's $480,000, its limitations really constrain mission flexibility. The procurement decision reflects strategic imperatives. First, urgency. Amid escalating tensions in Ladakh and the Indo-Pacific, India needs immediate enhancements to its standoff strike edge. Gorov, while near induction, isn't fully operational yet. Trials wrapped up in 2025, but full-scale production and integration could take months or even years. Second, reliability and proven technology really matter here. Israeli systems have a track record in Indian operations, with India being Rafael's largest customer, accounting for about 34% of exports from 2020 to 2024. SPICE's combat validation reduces risks compared to Gaurav, which despite successful tests, still lacks battlefield experience. Third, Let's talk about geopolitical and diversification factors. Israel is a key partner, providing rapid deliveries even amid global supply disruptions. But, you know, critical gaps persist due to historical underinvestment in research and development and those public sector monopolies. Societal and structural issues like limited private innovation also slow down self-reliance. Yet, exports hit record highs in 2024 to 2025 showing some real progress. 
Critics argue this kind of approach undermines Atmanirbar, but proponents see it as pragmatic. Imports, they say, actually sustain alliances while funding indigenous growth. The SPICE 1000 buy enhances precision strikes for high-value operations and, well, it complements Gaurav for routine ones. Thanks for watching. If you found the video insightful, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.